We'll just do boat. Boom, in there, same angle with a reflection, Firefly. It's now in Photoshop. I'm gonna take the same thing right here, and then we're also gonna go into Photoshop, generative fill, and I'm gonna type the same thing right in here. And then we're gonna compare these two. Ooh, look at that one, fascinating. I'll refresh this. This one's really cute. Let's hit refresh one more time. Let's hit generate again. I like this guy over here, so I think we'll take him. We'll click right here because I want to do a generative fill. And what I want to do for this one is insert some things. Paint here and here. And we'll type in black and white swirl striped horns. Generate. So there it is. Look, and we have different versions of the horns. So we'll keep that. And now that's ready to go. I can go ahead and download it. Yes, I'm going to remove this. And yes, I'm going to use Content Aware Fill. Let's expand this out now. Crop Tool, expand out this canvas, and we'll move it down like so. This side part first, and we'll just click Generative Fill. I love it. Generate this side. Now I have that done. I did this in parts because it's always going to return only about a 1024 size. You want to clean anything up? It just does a fantastic job. Generative fill. This is one thing to keep in mind, like what layer you're on. I just did this generative layer down here when I have these other layers on top. So that's not good. I can delete that. Make sure you're on the topmost layer so it's sampling. So it's going to blend in everything better. Here's my scene. Make this little guy like disappear. Select this area, generative fill, generate a new character made of fur and branches. Here's our character, character one, and then character two. We'll come in here and we'll just do a generative fill. We kind of have a little bit of a setup. We have these monsters. I can really start to build this out. How can I get a good match on this? This is where I would take a look at the background. We're gonna take our lizard. We're integrating it into the scene. We're gonna go to filter, neural filters. Harmonization to do that. We're gonna select the layer I just named background. There's that background layer. I can darken it a little bit and go with something like that. I'm just gonna like blend in this edge really fast. Shh. Duplicate this lizard. Let's do some puppet warp. Seriously, like anything is possible now. He's coming out of the water. Might need to move this hand. And we're gonna put some of his body underwater. And let's give it a hard edge. The opacity doesn't build up, but each time you click, it's gonna remove about 25% uh, off. Let's say for instance, we wanna add a bunch of flowers. Do a generative fill multiple times. Colorful flowers. Let's see how it does on this side. Same thing, colorful flowers. Guess what, you're not blurry enough. We could fix that. A little Gaussian blur on those, and that's okay. This is like a mirror. Let's try this. Do a selection. For one, we can do generative fill. We'll just do boat. And there's my boat. Boom. Boat in there. Same angle with a reflection. What if we put a sea monster right over here? Sea monster. Oh, look at that weird. Look at that guy. Still could be blended in more. You know what? It's taking hints from this boat when really I feel like the darks need to match the background. I'm going to take curves, clip it to my monster, hold on the option key and click auto. This is my long winded way of uh, sort of mapping the dark and light colors. My shadows are going to be like probably like this darker spot right over here. Highlights. Highlights are never white. Shadows are never black. Uh, let's remove background for that guy. Let's just take two images. Let's just say this is all like cut off and we'll take a sky from another image, copy it, paste it in here, we'll make this larger and skies at the top. So we're just kind of adding some, we're giving it some reference images. Let's take these two, selecting them and use generative fill. You don't have to put anything in there. You could just click generate or you could type in mountains. But this is the way we just like blend two images together right up here. I like this one. This one looks great. I don't know. I'm constantly blown away. Thanks, everybody. Bye.